How's it going guys? Welcome back to West of Loathing. I've been feeling pretty sick the last couple days and I've kind of just been recording through it. It hit me really hard yesterday, so I apologize if I'm a little croakier than usual or it got kind of like frog voice, but I'll be, I'll be sure to cut around any nasty coughs or sniffles or anything like that. So I've seen a few things that have hinted towards that I probably should just be selling these things to Pete. I wasn't sure if I should be hanging on to them, but I, I think I, I think I am meant to just sell them to him. So what do you say, Pete? Who, me? Well, heck, I say all kinds of things. For instance, double-crossing machines can't trust them no more in a blasted sidewinder. Mm-hmm. Taking a swig of whiskey, he's looking at the rock. Last time I said no, I'll just sell it to him this time. He grabs the rock, sticks it in his belt pouch, grinning. Thank you kindly. Only seven meat. I wish I could have got a little bit more for it, but I honestly have no idea what the shiny rock was worth. I just kind of assume it was worth something. He's noticing the silver nugget now. Oh, I'll take that for 81. Sell it to him as well. Fine and dandy. Pete squints and points at the unrefined meat ore. He wants that as well. Sell him the ore. All these things I said I wouldn't sell him before. There you go. Pleasure doing business with you. Hopefully those three things were the only things that he had any particular vested interest in. Pete's eyes narrow as the gears in his head start to click. He fixes his gaze on you, and the tick in his eyelids seems more pronounced. You'd think he would get a steadier glaze, not like a twitchier glaze, but it depends, depends what's going on up in that old brain box. Listen, kid, all the stuff what I've been buying for you, you've been spending time underground, ain't ya? Well, you listen to old Pete's advice. You'll stay out of ore hole if you know what's good for you. There's stuff down on the 40th level that ain't worth messing with for a fellow who wants to keep his eyes, if you catch my meaning. Yeah, like you, I don't want the eyes ripped out of my head. <laughs> yes, I do understand what you mean. I do like my eyes, in fact. Not sure I do, but but thanks. No, I think I, I think I hear ya. I think you're saying steer clear of of the 40th level of the thing. Can't can't grab more hats. I was that that still hasn't changed. I was hoping maybe at some point that would have changed. So now this elevator will suddenly just have a, a way down. Before there was only like three options. You suddenly remember that weird thing that Pete said about the level 40. Is it is it a real thing? Uh, it's peculiar that four through 39 just don't exist. You would assume that those exist as well, but. Maybe they, maybe every time that they dug a new exit or entrance, they're like, hmm, nothing of interest here, let's just keep going lower. Level 40 it is. Minecraft logic, you know that diamonds only show up at a certain depth, so you don't even bother excavating the higher ups. Hey, it's a, a strange black chest, open the chest. A wave of nausea hits you as you slide the heavy lid off of the chest. Inside, there is a hat. I've been looking for a new hat, I kind of have never been a big fan of the one I have now. It looks evil. And not in an abstract way. It has eyes, and they look like they're the eyes of a murderer. And it has teeth, which look like the teeth of an animal who would be a murderer if animals understood the concept of murder. That's a strange thought. Animals do just kind of murder all the time, but in the animal kingdom, it's just kind of, it's cool. No one, no one's too concerned about it. P put it, put it on? You have a sense of foreboding. Something tells you this is a bad idea. It's me. I'm telling you this is a bad idea. Is it the hat? Is the hat telling me? If you put this hat on, oh, maybe it's like the narrator? <laughs> you won't ever be able to take it off, and things will be much harder for you. It'll be as though your life is a game, and the game's difficulty level is greatly increased, if you catch my meaning. Upgrading to hard mode. You know, the battles haven't been too challenging, and I have to think that if it's hard mode, maybe I'll gain more experience and, like, new pathways and stuff will open up. I'll give hard mode a try. I, th I yeah, bring it on. I say bring that shit on. You gained item, the hard hat. Ooh, that is a mighty cool hat. All this quietly snarling hat wants is to slowly eat your head. Is that so much to ask? Well, his teeth look like they're on the brim of the hat. My head will be on the inside of that, so I guess I'm kind of... It's gonna be awfully hard for him to eat my head, is what I'm thinking. Makes the game harder and can never be removed. You grab the terrible hat and put it on your head. You hear a sigh of pleasure coming from above your forehead as you feel that the hat's teeth sink into your skull. Jesus fuck. That, I don't like, I, it's creepy enough as is and sounds brutal. He's just chomping straight into my dome. But I don't like the fact that he has a sigh of pleasure. I don't like that this thing is like, ooh, yeah, delicious head meat. This is gonna be great, a voice whispers. Fucking, is this hat gonna talk to me from now on? Shudder, yes, that is the appropriate response. I agree with that. What do I do with my old hat? 
Do I just throw it away? I still got it, I still got it. Oh, I lose the one moxie. I kind of liked having the one moxie. That's it, hard, hard mode it is, I guess. Everything's all empty now. It looks like, yeah, nothing else that I can really do around here. So back to town? I think it's about time I pick I pick a partner and we, we head on out. So my choices are Doc Alice, Susie Cochran, or Old Pete. Mm, I don't know if I really want an alcoholic on my team. She didn't seem like she had that much to offer as a character other than being a, a, a raging drunk. Old Pete, kind of same thing. He's a little bit of a loose cannon. Having someone, a wild card, one could say like that, could be good. I think I kind of want to bring Susie Cochran. She's got some demons that need exercise. She's got a big old rifle. Seems to be maybe the most developed character. Her and I don't seem to have the, the wittiest banter. We don't really make a lot of jokes together, but I think she's my favorite character out of the group. Thanks again for getting my rifle. Let me know if you need a hand or, or want me to go west with you. How do I, how do I like approve that? How do I say yes, make that happen? I probably, probably it happens when I get ready to leave here. I hope I don't accidentally leave without her. That would suck. Ride old dumbass out of town. I mean, I guess I could have a crazy, a crazy horse and crazy old Pete, but that seems like a bit too much crazy. You gotta, you gotta even out the boat a little bit, you know? Although I wonder if I abandoned the necromancer storyline by not choosing Doc Alice, and that sounded pretty Pretty cool actually the way these characters are phrasing things I think I must choose as I'm leaving so yes I want to leave alrighty then you're properly horsed and ready to start your new life in the West all you need now is a partner somebody to share the trail with somebody you can rely on for emotional and combat support go it alone your hard hat smiles at the idea Ooh, no, I want a partner. I want to I wanna have someone there with me. I'll, I'm going to take Susie along. You pop back to the saloon and collect Susie and hit the trail. Oh, and one last thing before you go. Up until this point, I've been automatically spending your experience points for you. I'm happy to keep doing it, and I promise to give you a nice, well-rounded experience. Shall I keep it up, or do you prefer to decide for yourself where your XP gets spent? Oh, damn. I think I'm happy enough to keep it just automatic. I don't need to be spending a shitload of time trying to decide where I'm going to be allocating things. I kind of prefer to just keep the story moving, so I'll just let it be a nice, a nice welcome surprise of where it gets spent. Alright, let's go. Check your map. You consult the southeast-west map the hostler gave you. It only lists two things, the town of Dirtwater and the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company West, Western Mount Camp. I kind of thought I was just going to be going to Dirtwater, I, so I, I, I guess I can't go to the railroad right now. I want to head to Dirtwater, that's where I said I was going to go, so that's my new thing. Day one, the first day of the rest of your life. Ooh, Susie's freaking out. Let's have a quick chat with her. It's your partner. Hey there, Susie. I'd like to check up on some of the ranches in these parts, see how bad the cow attacks are getting. Ooh, I kind of like that I get to pick up this cow storyline, because that... That was as intriguing to the Necromancer, if not maybe more, so I'm, I'm kind of glad I chose Susie for that reason. Alright, do you know some? Not in great detail, but I know roughly where a few are, or at least guess we'll just have to see. There's one not far from here. The new location, the Steerens Ranch. What do you think we should do next? Am I forgetting about anything? Susie says you should see the bartender about renting the room in dirt water. It'll be nice to have a base of operations. Ah, thanks for the reminder. Maybe another suggestion quickly? She shrugs. Evidently, that's all the suggestions she can think of. Much obliged. It was a bartender? Okay, so that would be in the saloon. Dirt water, mercantile. The post of ice? Post office. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, sponsored by lt and and the jail. Lot available, lot available. I wonder if I can, like, expand the town. Look at all these coaches running around. What about you? You don't want to say anything with your goofy, like, dirty cowboy chef hat? I guess no one really wants to have a chat. Oh, little girl. I'll buy some flowers, sure. The, the little girl's selling flowers. You got an item? Sweet smelling flowers. Thanks again, mister. Let's have a quick look at what good they are. Oh, it's like an, an offhand thing? This item goes in your offhand. 15% stench resistance. It reduces the amount of damage you take from smelly sources. Well, that's, uh, maybe it'll come in handy. I didn't have anything in my offhand anyways, so I guess it'll be useful for the time, useful until, uh, something else comes along. Let's go ask about having this place to, to rent. Wow, that is a mighty fine mustache, and that just looks exactly like Susie again. <laughs> 
What the shit? Oh, okay, I thought there was an ice cream cone standing over here. He's just got a really long beard. Do we look in the spittoon again? This is a spittoon, which is a sort of brass bucket that people spit into instead of spitting on the floor, because not spitting at all is not an option in this society, I guess. I say this despite knowing that you're pretty intimately familiar with spittoons already, sicko. Well, it worked out pretty well last time. I don't expect it to work out twice, but I, I'm gonna go rummage through it regardless. Look, the Jewel Saloon is pretty nice as saloons go. Actually, glass in the windows, more than two kinds of drinks, a poker room instead of a cockfighting pit, but this spittoon is still a spittoon. The rancid tobacco is spit inside. It isn't fancy rancid tobacco spit, but I have the flowers now. The smell won't be so bad. I inspect anyways. Here we go again. All right, fine. You are now hunkered down next to a brass filth bucket, which has probably never been cleaned or emptied because you're near the desert and the ambient humidity around here is pretty low, low enough that the spit evaporates nearly as quickly as it accumulates. Using some real world like weather climatology to analyze the rate at which the spit evaporates from the spittoon. Didn't expect that kind of hard science here in the old west. So that's good, right? No, that's bad because it's only the water part of the spit that evaporates. The brass bucket is half full of the rest of the spit, the toxins and filth that doesn't evaporate, several years worth, distilled and concentrated until it's the consistency of molasses. People aren't allowed to flick cigarette butts into this platoon anymore because they bounce out. Search it anyways. I'm gonna get poisoned or something, something it can't come out positive both times, can it? You're about to put your hand into a bucket of something the color and viscosity of maple syrup, except instead of maple, it's flavored with the inside of the mouths of people who chew cigars instead of smoking them and have never brushed their teeth. That's just fine. Glorp? It feels like putting your hand into a bucket of lukewarm tapioca pudding. God, this is descriptive. It just keeps getting sicker and sicker. Except instead of tapioca, it keeps using food as a reference, and then being like, but not food, something much, much worse. It's basically poison. It smells like something ran over a skunk, waited a week, and then set it on fire. It feels like your hand is dissolving. Keep searching. You found something. You found a tacky, filth-covered porcelain cow figurine, and an, a, a useless, disgusting thing that will make a great heirloom for your children, assuming you're still able to have any, and you hate them. There's a risk that this thing just may be completely sterile. You have to hold this little porcelain cow upside down because it's filled with tobacco spit. You don't want it to spill out of the little hole in the bottom of it. This item goes in your offhand. Wow. Fuck those flowers. This thing's disgusting, but it's way better than the than the flowers. Although I don't really do a lot of Although I don't really do a lot of melee attacks. After putting myself through all that, I think I, I think I really have to switch it out. I can't, it doesn't look like I can gear up Susie, can I? She just kind of stays as is. I want to talk to this guy who I thought was an ice cream cone, and then I'll talk to the barkeeper. The old man stares off into the distance, listening to the piano. Try to talk to him. He doesn't react to you at all. Okay, apparently that's not something I can actually talk to. This is a huge establishment. There's a lot going on here. See bartender for darts. Ooh, maybe I better play some darts. Whoops, didn't mean to go to the kitchen. That's somewhere I can go later. Let's talk to the bartender and get that sorted out before we worry about anything there. The couple guys who were just fighting in their sleep? These guys must have fallen asleep during a brawl. God, they must have been really angry about something. Maybe they only rented one room between the two of them and they're arguing about who actually gets to sleep on the bed and who gets to sleep on the floor. They're just that exhausted and now, now they're just sleeping standing. Waste of money to be renting a room, I guess. Well, howdy there. Always nice to see a new face in town. Welcome to the Jewel Saloon. Hi, thanks. I'm the Grimy Slinger. Good to know you, the Grimy Slinger. Folks around here just call me Lloyd. What can I do for you? Nice to meet you, Lloyd. I saw the sign out front advertising a room. Need any help with anything? I'll have a shot of bourbon. Who's the old man by the piano? Yes, I am curious about that. Ooh, that's old Ellsbury. Tragic fella he is. He was a writer and a poet. Came out west to sell his stories, but nobody here is buying. Too weird his stories, fantastical like. Oh my god, is he a character straight out of the Kingdom of Loathing and he has stories about like an, a fantasy world and it just doesn't fly here in the west? Too bad, I love that stuff. Well, it don't matter much anymore. He had to get normal work to make ends meet. It's funny that they don't say ends, ends meet as in like meat because meat is the currency in this world, you know? Did passing well as a prospector until one day he lost his mind in a mind, or would that, it seems like it would be the other way around. He what now? You know what I mean. He saw something, something that made him stop telling his weird tales, made him stop talking near completely come to that. 
He just stands there by the piano nowadays. It seems to calm him down, and as long as he doesn't make any trouble, I don't mind too much. Be a little sorry for him, to be honest. Poor fella. Maybe we ask about uh, what's going, what's the goings ons around here are before we get a room. Well, if you're handy with mechanical type stuff, something's gone wrong with our player piano player. I thought the music sounded a little off. Yeah, it's not supposed to sound like that. I actually hadn't noticed that the music was a little bit fucked up, but now that I listen to it, I can tell for sure. I'll see what I can do, I guess. But like, a player piano, isn't that one of the pianos that plays itself? And it looks like there's definitely a guy over there, like, jamming out on it, so I'm a little uncertain. Am I trying to fix the man, or I'm not sure what's going on there? He's a pia player piano player, so I, I don't really know exactly what I need to do here. Thanks, I'd have poked around it myself, but I lost the key. This has suddenly taken a strange turn. Alright, let's 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 worry about getting ourselves a room there. Uh, yes. That's right, finest room in the house, and plenty of room for your partner, too. You interested? How much does it cost? Well, that's where you're in luck. The previous tenant was a banker fella, and he paid a month in advance right before getting himself killed by bandits. He seemed like a decent sort, so the room's yours if you want it. Gratis? I don't know what gratis is. Some old westy something I'm not familiar with. That really seems like a bad way to run a business. I totally appreciate it, that's awesome, but you think you would just, like, take the money, run, and, and then start charging for it all over again. Thank you, I do, I do appreciate it. Let's quickly investigate this piano business here. The piano player is not very good at his job. Try to fix him. <laughs> you lift up the player piano's player's coats to reveal the hatch on his back that leads to his innards. It's locked, but it's not a very good lock. So I guess he's just mechanical as well. He's just part of, part of the player piano thing. I can't, I can't pick it right now. I've used up all my needles. I guess, I guess I gotta go in search of another haystack so I can get some needles so I can get back to that. Now that I know a little bit more about you, can I talk to you? Poor old Ellsbury. No, I still can't talk to him. What about you, lady who looks just like Susie? Oh, she... Uh, that makes a lot of sense. I, I thought that was kind of lazy. T turns out she just came inside. Well, we got a room. Let me tell you about that. Hey, Susie, what up? What do you think of the place? It's alright. Town's a bit busy for my taste, but it makes a change for being on the road. Gotta wash the dust off once in a while, right? Uh, yep. Then you can go back out and collect some fresh new dust. Hehe. <laughs> what do you think we should do next? I'll just laugh. Oh, okay, that didn't lead anywhere. Well, let's talk about something. What do you think we should do next? Hmm, if we're looking to get a move on westward, I reckon a train's the way to go. Didn't the map the hostler give you have a marker for some railroad camp or other? Might be worth checking out. Pretty good idea, but that seems like that's going to be something we want to do once we finish up with dirt water. Like, I imagine we're going to want to spend quite a while here. Oh, damn. Really ended up with a, a huge map here. What does the wander button do? Maybe that s sends you to like a random area? Not something I want to click on right now, because I'm, I'm going to wait until next time to, to venture on, like explore some of the quests, talk to more people around here. Not Lloyd, though, I've already talked to him enough. Look for new things to do around Dirtwater before I go just just leaving. I want to, ha I want to have a options, you know? A selection of things. So next episode we'll be doing a lot of, of chit-chatting with people and, and maybe we'll find a quest that we can carry out quickly. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm only going to record the one episode in this sitting because I feel super rough so hopefully tomorrow I'm feeling a little more bright and wide-eyed and I won't feel, feel, feel normally I won't be feeling nearly as rough while I'm trying to record. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you again soon.